Am I being punished? Crikey. No, what makes you ask that? Because being with you always feels like a time out. Sorry about that, mate. I often find it a challenge to maintain someone's attention when standing next to a wall that's been freshly painted. That's okay, Daddy Jax. I'm used to it now. It's part of my morning routine. Make my breakfast. Feed and change Jocelyn. And hold a feather under your nose just to make sure. Do you know why I asked you here today, Morgan? Is it for another round of ants in my pants? I wish you hadn't thrown out the rules book. I get the feeling we're not playing that game right. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're not wearing a wire, are you? No, never mind. I need to talk to you about your upcoming living arrangements. I'm afraid we're all due for a change. Did Daddy Sonny finally whack her? Is Mommy now down there with Daddy Alcazar? Well, that is something to barrack for. And there's a figo that that Larry can will one day, but alas no, it's just furfy. Morgan, your mother and I are simply cactus. You mean you and mom are getting a divorce? Yes, I'm afraid that's so. This will be my fourth, and your mother's seventh so really no surprises there. I blame this on Jocelyn. It's all her fault. That's why I covered her in the tuna salad, and gave her to Ura's cat, Mr. Peepers. And I am quite cheesed off with ya, you little ankle biter. I could chuck a wobbly. Please. I have enough trouble deciphering Daddy Sonny. Look Morgan, the thing is, that your mother Carly, well, let's say she's got kangaroos loose in the top paddock. So I committed her sorry ass to Shady Brook. Every time I commit her, I get 10,000 points on my Discover card. Of course this means I will be getting sole custody of you. But what about Daddy Sonny? How can I put this for a child? Sonny dummy, pudding, and bye. He kissed the girls, and made them cry. He's a real yabo. A drango. You get what I'm saying? Are you still hating on my Daddy Sonny? Give it a rest. No, never. It's my thing, my only characteristic. I will not rest until I bring Sonny to his knees. So, is that why you keep a pair of Daddy Sonny's underwear in your drawer of secrets? Yes. I'm collecting DNA evidence for Claire Walsh. Yes, that's right. Daddy Jax, it's not so much the divorce that's upsetting me. It's just that, well, I feel like I don't even matter. Oh come now, Morgan. Of course you matter. You're irreplaceable. At least until your next growth spurt in your way. I never get to do anything. I mean, look at my half-sister Christina. She kills Claudia's baby. She runs away to Mexico. She gets beaten up. And frames Ethan Lovett. And now she's hooking up with Johnny Sarkara to drive Daddy Sonny even crazier than he already is. First Dante. Then Claire Walsh. Now it's, Kristen and Johnny. Crikey, destroying Sonny is my only story. I can't compete with all of them. And it's always about my half-brother Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. By the time he was my age, Michael had already been kidnapped and presumed dead. A suspect in a Jay's murder. And took a bullet to the head for Daddy Sonny. Meanwhile, I just make dried macaroni happy faces. Michael even got more attention than me when he was in a friggin' coma. Then he wakes up in time to whack Claudia. And now the whole town is upside down because he went to prison. Are you kidding me? What do I get? Fuck yes, that's what. Jason goes to prison for Michael and I can't even get someone to take me to Yankee Stadium. Give me a break. Sadly, Michael. Morgan. Oh yes, how silly of me. Yes. Sadly, Morgan, I can thoroughly relate to your dilemma. For I too am overshadowed by an older brother, who leaves me with it, and all shriveled like a raisin, in the... For the love of God, get to the point. Morgan. I have a very deep and dark secret. Oh, it's no secret. Jerry Jacks. Doesn't exist. 
certainly no one could fault me for not wanting to be Jasper Jacks all the time. I bored everyone pissless, and eventually it drove Brenda insane. I even went unconscious, while in mid-sentence and no one even noticed. No, Jerry Jacks is my alter ego. The one who is actually interesting. But everyone has seen you and Jerry together at the same time. I hired a body double to play me. Well, a mannequin really. Okay, Daddy Jax. Does this mean you were responsible for shooting Robin Scorpio and causing Alan Quartermain's fatal heart attack? Yes. Yes, it does. But it wasn't all fun. There were horrible terrible sacrifices along the way. Like having sex with Alexis Davis. She's not my bowl of rice. I suppose the end justifies the means. But Morgan, this must remain strictly between us only. Oh, you mean like when we play Scoutmaster, Super Duper Secret? Yes. Only we won't need the flashlights. Daddy Jax, does Jocelyn have to come live with us too? I'm afraid so. As soon as I can find where Mr. Peepers hid her. So I guess I need to raise her since mom is back in the nut house. Well, actually, I have some more news. That hot log, Olivia Falconeri, and Johnny Zachmura, are a cactus now. So, Olivia wants to be my fifth ex-wife. Morgan, how would you feel about having Olivia for a new mommy? Am I too old to be breastfed? We'll have to see about that. Ace. It appears we have the rest of the Arvo to ourselves. I see. That's right, Morgan. Another rousing round off, ants in my pants.